Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Poco X3 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy A32. And Samsung Galaxy A32 has a MediaTek Helio G80 processor with a 6GB of RAM, while the Poco X3 Pro has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor, which is a flagship processor from Qualcomm. And also we have 8GB of RAM on the Poco X3 Pro. On the back, we have quad cameras on both these two devices. We have a main 64 megapixel main camera on the A32 as compared to main 40 megapixel main camera on the Poco X3 Pro. So I'm really, really excited to see that who is going to be the fastest one. Without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Both phones is completely off. So now let's start off with the boot up test between these two devices. Here we go. And logo it is here just a tiny bit more faster on the Galaxy A32 as compared to the Poco x3 pro and also both phones is running on android 11 we have a samsung one ui 3.1 as compared to me ui version 12 so let's see which one is going to be the fastest one and you can see and poco x3 pro it is faster when it comes to putting up beat the galaxy a32 by a huge margin and a32 is take a lot of time and this phone it is really really slow in the booting up speed because of the MediaTek Helio G80 as well as the Samsung One UI which is a really heavy skin but let's see that how much time is need and now the Samsung Galaxy A32 it is also done so you can see that huge difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up and as you can see that and both phones give you a very different display we have a full hd ips as a display with 120 hz refresh rate display on the poco x3 pro as compared to full hd super amoled display but we have a 90 hz refresh rate display on the a32 we also have u-shape notch on the a32 as compared to punch hole on the poco x3 pro so now let's see the app's opening speed everything is closed up in the background no app is running in the background and also we have same wi-fi network on both phones now let's quickly launch the phone dialer and that is really really same on both phones no difference there now let's see the settings on both phones now let's see that who is faster there that is hugely faster on the poco x3 pro as compared to the a32 and again we have 90 hertz as compared to 120 hertz now let's see amazon shopping on both phones and that is faster on the poco x3 pro and you can see definitely huge faster there well, A32 now it is also done so now let's see the scrolling and that is feels more smoother on the Poco X3 Pro again we have 120 Hertz as compared to 90 Hertz and it is not really stable as well on the A32 I see a lot of lags while I'm using this phone in the UI as well so now let's check out some games application now let's start off with the Candy Crush Saga and now let's see that how is the A60 while I'm talking Poco X3 Pro it is completely done and now the A32 it is also done so you can see that huge difference in the game map during time because of the Snapdragon 860. Let's see pin out. Again faster on the Poco X3 Pro. And A32 it is also done. Let's see Sabo Surfer. And launching at the same time again. Huge faster on the Poco X3 Pro. And you can see and a32 is take a lot of time and now it is also done so you can see that about about six or eight second difference between these two devices now let's opening up the router some social media application faster on the a32 zetch and that is faster on the poco x3 pro than the a32 now let's see the scrolling and that is again more smoother on the poco x3 pro as compared to the a32 because we have 90 hertz which is not really stable as well now let's see spotify faster on the poco x3 pro now let's quickly launch the pubg mobile on both phones and and i also done the gaming test of the a32 as well as the poco x3 x3 pro on my channel so if you're interested watch that and you can see poco x3 pro this way way faster phone then the A32 and now A32 it is also right behind there but not that much huge difference between these two devices 
so now let's see the temper and two on both phones last game application we have in this pre-test and that is definitely again faster on the poco x3 pro and poco x3 pro it is completely done while the 832 now it is also done and last time we launching the cameras on both phones the forward camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one and that is more faster definitely on the poco x3 pro as compared to the 832 now let's see internet browsing speed i am seeing to for google chrome on the poco x3 pro as compared to samsung internet browser on the 832 now let's see apple.com same wi-fi network on both phones and that is faster on the poco x3 pro and you can see 832 is also right behind there so now let's see the scrolling and that is feels really really smooth on the poco x3 pro but i also see little bit appears drop on the poco x3 pro it is not really 120 hertz all the time but the 832 it is 90 hertz all the time so that's a really good thing on the 832 but not in the ui so guys now let's see the ram management on both phones and we have a 6 gp of ram on the 832 as compared to 8 gp of ram on the poco x3 pro so now let's see phone dialer that is not refresh let's see settings that is not refresh amazon shopping and uh, refresh on both phones let's see candy crush saga that is not refresh on both phones but we see huge delay on the 832 let's see pin out refresh on the x3 pro let's see subway surfer refresh opening up the router that is seems like refresh let's see zatch that is a refresh again on the x3 pro and x3 pro is performed really bad in the ram management spotify that is refresh on the x3 pro now let's see the pubg mobile that is refresh on the poco x3 pro but not on the 832 ram management is really really good on the 832 let's see temper and two that is refresh on the 832 last way back to the internet browser and that is not refresh on both phones and guys over i have to say regarding the apps opening speed is definitely more faster on the poco x3 pro in system based application as well as in game app in time in terms of the ram management device and the 832 is performed really good in the ram management as compared to the poco x3 i have the ram management really fix with some software updates on the poco x3 pro but you can see that Right now RAM management is really bad despite having 8 GB of RAM on the POCO X3 Pro. So that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the POCO X3 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy A32. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.